Next, we move, a little, we move ahead a little bit. There were some advertising jingles and stuff that uh, Student Baker put out. We'll pull we'll those for next year. But uh, that, that we'll do those at a future time. Uh, right now, we're going to do a, a little piece that I wrote about my own car, which I have on my necktie, my 62 GT Hawk. It, it's not here this time. The paint shop took too long. I couldn't drive it here. So it'll be here maybe, or in St. Louis maybe next year. Who knows? But anyway, the uh, little song I wrote about that, and, and it's a tribute to its styler, stylist, or whatever the term is, uh, Herb Stevens. I mentioned him a couple times in the song. So it, that he did a great job in that car. And, uh, and it's a lot of fun to drive. So here we go. Just give me a little a G or something, and we'll get started. Okay. It started out as a speedster in 1955. They wanted to make the old study just a little more alive. So they added some power, made it supercharged with some cream and fins. It's a beautiful Hawker car wheel. Never forget GT Hawk or just one of them all. Grab to be small, the first car so ball. Golden Hawk, Silver Hawk, Power Hawk too. All lead up to 1962. Packard Hawk, Fly Hawk, Sky. So they went by the force. We gotta get some of that European styling for the more the love. Take the best of what you have on the shelf. Mr. Stevens really made a name for himself in a car will never forget. G.T. Hawk, the gorgeous one of them all. Grand Turismo, the first car so called. Golden Hawk, Silver Hawk, Power Hawk too. All lead up to 1962. Backward Hawk, Flight Hawk, Sky Hawk, what a blue J.T. Hawk, run to J.T. Hawk, run to Bristol, 62 through 64, Brooks Stevens knew the score. Next we have a little piece about uh, all the brand names of Studebaker. I, I have that shirt that has Studebaker down here, and then it's got, uh, you know, Lark, Bruder, Avanti, all of them listed down here. We take it just about everything on there and put it in this song. Not, not in the same order, but, uh, but maybe somebody got that shirt handy somewhere. Okay. Anyway, you know the shirt I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, got all those names in here. Little tune that I wrote about a year ago, just called Studebaker.
Uh, somebody commented yesterday that that may be the best harmony we've got. But uh, listen to the end of this one coming up. It's our it's it's our jingle. This is about a 1964 jingle that if you buy the the DVD down here that's for sale at at the museum. It's for sale at the museum, Becky. I should be glad to talk to you about it. It it has this this commercial in it. The the late up up to the 1960s commercials that is. There's an earlier one. The, like the 40s and all that, but this is on the late uh, commercials DVD. I think it's very memorable because it has Sherwood Egbert on there talking about the great new Studebakers for 64, I think it is, and then he's talking about the, uh, and then it goes into this jingle sung by an offstage chorus, and then it shows scenes of the Studebaker on the road and the disc brakes working on the Avanti and stuff like that. So it's a very memorable commercial. The only one I recall that has a has a musical part to it, so so I took it and we set it for our little choir. So here we go. It's called Different by Design. Oh, uh -huh. 
before you go, I just want to thank all of our members of our choir.